Hello, my name is Erin Feiger and I'm a partner just like you. I've been using the Microsoft Partner Programs and Tools for over a decade. Today, I'm going to show you how to update the primary contact responsible for signing your partnership agreement between your organization and Microsoft inside of Partner Center. One of the top questions I get asked by partners when helping them set up their account with Microsoft or they're new to managing their membership with Microsoft is who should be who should we really identify as the primary contact listed in the legal section within our account settings inside of Microsoft's Partner Center portal. Let's go out to Microsoft's Partner Center portal so I can show you where to go to update your primary contact as well as talk through who that person really should be inside of your organization. So once you're logged into Partner Center, you need to either be the global admin or the Partner Center account admin to have the ability to update this primary contact information. So if you have one of those two roles, you're going to click on the configuration wheel in the upper right hand corner and go to account settings. Here in account settings, it's going to automatically default to the legal information page. In this legal information page, you have three tabs across the top. Currently, we are in the partner tab, and this is related to the primary contact who's going to be responsible for updating or signing your membership agreement with Microsoft. This person is best to be someone in your organization, maybe in your legal department, who holds a C-level role inside your organization, or they might be the Microsoft Alliance director or maybe the VP of business development, and is that primary person responsible for your membership and your overall uh, partnership with Microsoft. This person is going to get email notifications from Microsoft um, when it's time to re-sign your agreement or renew your agreement every year with Microsoft. So if you are that global admin or the account admin of Partner Center, you will see a link to update the primary contact information. Simply click on the link and fill out the new information of who that primary contact person should be, and then click update. So the core tip of the day is really the primary contact person is someone inside your organization who has the authority to assign uh, to sign the agreements between your organization and Microsoft. It's typically someone in your legal department, someone who might hold a C-level position, or is your Microsoft Alliance director responsible for managing your overall partnership with Microsoft? I hope you found this information to be helpful. I'm Erin Feiger, and thank you for joining me on this journey inside of Microsoft's Partner Center portal.